Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Gary, and today we are gonna be helping out with Team Trees. Now, if you guys have been around YouTube or Twitter or probably any of the social medias, you'll probably know what Team Trees is. But if you don't, um, a YouTuber by the name of Mr. Beast started um, this whole initiative to help uh, plant a bunch of trees. And I think it was for his 20 million subscriber mark, um, like his fans challenged him to plant 20 million trees. So that's what this whole thing is. So we're trying to um, plant trees and help out a little bit with the climate stuff. I will put some information in the description and the pinned comment down there um, if you just want to know more about what Team Trees is and um, who's kind of doing the planting of the trees and stuff like that. There's a lot of good information out there. And if you've been following the Team Trees thing, you might know that Elon Musk uh, donated $1 million towards this. And in the process of doing that, he changed his name on Twitter to Trelon. So a few days ago, Joel the 3D Printing Nerd texted me and this happened. He said that we should design a Trelon and I replied, that'd be super cool and we should donate the proceeds to help out Team Trees. So that's what we're doing today. We are going to be making Trelon. So now the problem is, um, what's a Trelon? And I thought about it for a while and I kind of pictured this guardian of the forest because it all has to do with trees and stuff like that. Um, so usually when there's guardians of the forest, like in fantasy, um, you think of a treant and I'll put a picture of a treant up here. It's basically just a tree creature in fantasy stories. So that's kind of what we were going with and we just wanted to kind of splice Elon's head on there and make him look like the guardian of the forest. So let's get started modeling this. Quick break from the modeling footage uh, here for a second. Um, I'm actually splitting up the modeling footage into two different parts. The part that you just watched was the part that I did. I knew that we needed to get this video out as quickly as possible because, you know, the trendiness of it all. And if we waited too long, it just wouldn't be relevant anymore. And we wanted to give people enough time to donate. So instead of doing everything from scratch, I started with one of the uh, preset Z spheres that um, just comes with ZBrush. It was the, I believe it was like the cave troll. That way I just didn't have to take the time to make out all the Z spheres and make the body. And then I started with the preset head, um, also comes with ZBrush. It just, it saves a ton of time. And that way you can just kind of like sculpt in the details you want and start morphing the face. Um, it's a lot easier than starting from a sphere on a head. Then from there, I kind of modeled in the chair position just so I could kind of get a rough shape of that and figure out where it was gonna be. And then I posed Trelon um, just sitting in the chair. I tried to make it as cool and dynamic of a pose as possible, but I also tried to keep things like printability in mind because we wanted this to print with no supports. Then I got to work uh, making his head look a little more like Elon. Um, now, uh, I've never actually modeled a human head before. I've done a lot of like cartoony type characters, even some video game characters, but nothing like a real person's head. Um, and if you've ever tried modeling a head before, you know just how difficult it is. 
Uh, there's there's a lot of little subtle things in, our, in human faces that make them recognizable to us that are very hard to replicate in um, model form. Uh, some people can do it very well, I'm just not that experienced with it and frankly not that good at it. So I got it as close as I could and ultimately we're going to be grafting it onto a tree-like body that um, doesn't even really have hair, so that will impact it a lot. So my goal was just to get it close enough that um, it kind of looks like Elon. I'm not sure if I fully got there or not, but you can be the judge of that. Then I modeled up the sword and I went around and added some details to the chair. But then I passed the whole thing off to Chelsea and that's the footage you're going to see right after this because I'm not really that good at hyper organic details and tree like bark and stuff like that I would consider hyper organic. Um, I can kind of roughly get that shape but I'm nowhere near as good as Chelsea is at it. Um, at that type of stuff even. So I sent the ZBrush file over to her and she added all of the texture to not only his body, but the armor and she added in some stone texture to the chair to make it look really, really nice. All in all, I think I spent about eight hours doing my modeling portion and I know Chelsea spent a lot more time than that uh, just due to how much tree bark texture there is. Um, so we easily have over 20 hours in modeling this thing. But I think it ended up being pretty fun because we don't really get to do something that's this creative that often. So without further ado, here is Chelsea's portion of the modeling. Now that we had the modeling done, it was time to move on to test printing and just making sure this thing prints like we think it should. There are no weird um, holes on the inside that could potentially mess up a print and we wanted to make sure that it printed without support. So we printed it in a few different sizes. The first one we did was the smallest one and we printed it on our Elegoo Mars. We used um, Ceratec resin and I'll put a picture up here so you can see what it looked like. And this one was in resin so the whole no supports thing doesn't really apply there because you always want to use supports when you're printing in resin. But it came out really really good. Chelsea actually painted it and I will show that off in a second. Then we wanted to print it a little bit bigger and test out the no supports thing. So we moved over to our Prusa Mark III and printed out this one. We printed this one in atomic starlight gray filament and it came out perfectly. Um, I'm actually amazed at the level of detail the the Prusa was able to do on this um, wood texture and some of the chair parts but I'm very very happy with how this one came out but that wasn't good enough for us so we wanted to try it out even bigger so we threw it over on our artillery sidewinder and printed it out in poly alchemy's emerald city elixir but we wanted to try it at this bigger size because sometimes when you're scaling things up um, different little lips and stuff like that that print just fine at a smaller size um, they start to droop and stuff on bigger prints, which we did have like one or two spots, just a little string dangling, but nothing even noticeable. I think it turned out really, really good. 
And this one, I believe we printed it at 300 millimeters tall, so I can confirm that um, as long as you've got decent cooling, you can print this big with no supports. If you go any bigger, you might want to add some supports um, just on the side of the chair here, because there's a couple lips that will um, need a little bit of support. And maybe this hole in the back of the chair, that might also need supports. Now back to that little one we printed out on the Elegoo. Um, Chelsea actually wanted to try painting one of these, so she threw a super quick paint of coat on here. I mean, she probably only spent an hour on it, but um, she threw on a base coat of paint um, she did a wash to darken up the sunken in areas and then dry brushed the high areas and I think it came out looking really good. So I'll stick in some time lapse footage of her painting right here then I'll kick off the showcase footage so you guys can see these things up close. Okay, so now for the best part, um, you're probably wondering where you can get this model. And we're gonna release it for free. It's over on Gumroad, um, but we're putting it at a zero plus option. So you can choose to pay for this model and we will be donating all of the money we get for this model through the end of the year because I believe that's the, the goal for Team Trees to Team Trees. So that way, if you guys wanna help out and support the cause, you can buy this model and know that your money's going towards that. Um, and like I said, at the end of the year, we'll make the donation. And if you're not in a position to um, buy this model financially, you can get it for free. Um, and it would just be nice if you would, um, if you print it out, share it and share the link um, to help spread awareness and stuff like that. Because I just think this Team Trees thing is pretty cool. You know, a lot of people have a lot of different opinions on climate change and stuff like that. But most people just yell at politicians. And I kind of see this as... Um, someone finally trying to do something about it. I know that this isn't gonna solve it, but it, it's something. So I, I, think it's, I think it's cool, and I think it's cool that it started here on YouTube, and it's, uh, it's something that I would like to be a part of that community, so that's why I'm doing this. Um, and like I said, the, the link will be down in the description and in the pinned comment um, if you guys would like to help support as well. All right guys, well I will close out the video there. I wanted to say thank you again 
to uh, Joel Telling 3D Printing Nerd for the idea for this. And make sure if you guys print one of these, uh, tweet me or Chelsea a picture um, over on Twitter or tag us on Instagram, that type of stuff. And you, you can use the hashtag Team Trees to show other people that are donating a cool 3D print that helps support the cause. Also, this was a lot of fun. Um, normally what we do on this channel is copy characters. Um, so we'll, we'll have a picture and we kind of just recreate it. Um, this was a little more fun to flex our creative muscles a little bit um, and come up with something kind of new. So um, let me know if you like this kind of thing. I, I think we're definitely going to do more of this in the future. Thank you guys for watching and until next time, keep creating.